Hey creative worshipers, my name is Andrea with Catch the Fire Worship Flags. Today I'm answering your worship flag FAQ. Today's question is, are worship flags too showy? Have you ever thought that someone who uses worship flags is actually drawing attention to themselves? This is probably the number one complaint about why worship flags shouldn't be used. We're going to tackle that question in today's worship flag FAQ. <laughs> it is really hard to be inconspicuous because it is a big giant piece of fabric that basically is screaming look at me look at me when you actually understand that worship flags are intended to be visible uh, and what they were used for yes they are going to be completely obvious you can't hide them is that wrong it always comes down to the heart issue of the worshiper. Is it showy? Are they trying to show off? Are they trying to draw attention to themselves? Maybe, but not everyone. Whether it's show or not, it always comes down to the worshiper's heart. Have you ever been distracted by someone who is leading worship in song and, and you know that it's about what they look like as opposed to their heart before the Lord? Same with worship flags. Just because it is a huge piece of fabric that really is shouting, hey, look at me, that does not necessarily mean that the worshiper behind them is saying, hey, look at me. Flags are meant to be seen. Flags are nonverbal communication, so they are communicating something. Historically speaking, flag bearers always go first. Remember the movie Braveheart? He was carrying his flag. Another example of where you see that flags go first is at the Olympics. Each flag bearer representing their country is leading the way, just like worship flags lead the way in worship. There's always the potential for kind of our own ugliness and our own pride to get in the way of true worship. But that doesn't mean we shut down worship flags. It's just about teaching the worshiper to be a private worshiper, maybe before they're a public worshiper, and really getting into the throne room of God by themselves, worshiping to an audience of one. It adds to the worship and it adds to the corporate assembly. And everyone benefits when there is the communication between heaven and earth. I hope that helped. What's your worship flag FAQ? I'd love to answer in another video. Post a comment or leave a reply and I'll make a video answering your worship flag FAQ.